should do one more thing. And I'm going to explain mathematical explanation of non reversible regressive function. So here we go. First, uh, we going to explain uh, mathematical explanation of non reversive function. So, In non recursive algorithm, there are several states that we have to always aware during this solution of all these states. So, I am going to put all these states one by one. Second point is identify algorithm basic operation in non recursive function. We when we analyze this algorithm, second point we go to check. The, what are the basic operations included in this algorithm? And third point is determine most address and best case for input of size n. In third step, we try to find, determine worst, average and best case for time complexity of algorithm of non-recursive types. And uh, the fourth point is set up summation for CN reflecting forward loop reflecting algorithm loop structure. In the uh, fourth point, we try to find summation of reflecting algorithm through CN that is uh, we actually in non recursive algorithm we use uh, uh, looping a statement like uh, for loop, while loop, do while loop that is iterative method to solve any problem in a uh, uh, non recursive algorithm and fifth point is Simplify summation using a standard formula. In a during solution of non recursive algorithm, the fifth point is simplify summation using a standard formula. And these are standard formula, some of the standard formula I give here as like first is S is equal to summation of from I to 1 tends to N for number I is equal to N into N plus 1 by 2. This, this formula proved by Boss when he was on uh, in a uh, when he was uh, 9 year old 
Now I am going to prove the summation of n natural number that is proved by Gauss when he is he was nine year old and that is like s is equal to one plus two plus three plus dot 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 plus n minus one plus n minus two plus n. He when he was nine year old he used this uh, derivation to prove summation of n natural number. So When we add these two equations, we get 1 plus n. Here, 1 plus n. And if we solve this state, you can see n minus 1 plus 2 means n plus 1. Again, if you see all from this to this, you get n plus 1 till here. How many times? It depends how many numbers means 2s is equal to 1 plus n into n times. So, s is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2. This formula given by Gauss when he was 9 year old. Let's go. Now, I am going to explain some of the important formula a standard formula for summation that we use during the solution of non recursive type of algorithm. So, first one is sigma of i c a i is equal to c into summation of i or a i. Second formula is summation of a i plus b i from i is equal to summation of a i plus summation of b i and third formula is summation of i a i plus k from i is equal to 1 to n and is equal to Summation of i is equal to m plus k and uh, from, from i plus i is equal to m plus k to n plus k a yeah. i. Means here you can see this k in function we add from uh, in i and n as well. These are the standard formula that we use during mathematical explanation of non recursive function. My mean to say that uh, we use this formula to find time complexity of any non recursive function. Now I am going to explain all these things of mathematical explanation of non recursive function through one example. And this algorithm is to find Next element. Next element in our array that is a that uh, zero to n minus one. The size of array is n n. Now we have to determine the value of largest element in the given area. The point is in this example we are going to find the maximum element in given area. That is our main point. And uh, input 
is a array of a from 0 to n minus 1. As you know, array of any number, suppose that array size n means it starts from the indexing of this array starts from 0, 1, 2, and n minus 1. So I tell it starts from 0, a starting point, and this is the ending point of indexing of array a. Output. What we expect output in this algorithm? The value of largest element. In uh, this uh, algorithm, we ultimately we find the output, the value of largest element in the given. So first we assign next next value as a zero. We first assume a zero is next value. Then we use one code rule that is uh, code rule i uh, starting from one to n minus one. First we assign first position of array as the max value, then we use for loop for uh, iteration for uh, uh, again repetition again and again to find uh, a maximum element in the given array. And after for loop, we use conditional statement if a of i is uh, greater than next then here we use conditional statement that if any of the element of array a is greater than maximum value that we, uh, here, we assign here then next value in next value we assign this here means if this condition all true means this condition is true then the ai is assigned to next value means our maximum value of the array is now assigned to next value then return next value to the function calling function this is the algorithm to find maximum element in any array this is the null recursive way of uh, finding maximum element in array. Mm -hmm. Now we should find the time complexity of this algorithm. So first uh, we first condition is check the number of for loop in the algorithm. As you can see that in this algorithm we use only one for loop that is it. So only one for loop in this algorithm. So I am going to get summation of uh, number of a step of for loop. So summation, uh, summation of i is equal to 1 to n minus 1. Now uh, 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 the position of array in last is n minus 1. And uh, the formula to solve this is upper limit minus lower limit plus 1. As you can see that upper limit is n minus 1 and lower limit is 1 and plus 1. If you solve this then you get n minus 1. Now we must check the degree of n which is equal to 1. If we check the degree of n is that is equal to 1, therefore the time complexity of oh, this algorithm is big theta n. Without n minus 1 is uh, if uh, in n number we if we subtract 1 is equal to n. So the time complexity of this non recursive algorithm is the theta of n. So 